guess what I started? Let's organize. The goal is to have them play by themselves for a while. Engagement rather than just providing entertainment. Are you guys ready for the coolest toy that you've ever seen? <sighs> Hi guys. Max just cut his facial hair on the sink, on the counter, and he's like, he just left with Scotty for a, to go on a drive, and he's like, just so you know, there's hair on the counter, because he knows that if I see it, I'll freak out. I would freak out. That's definitely something I would freak out about. Glad he told me. So guess what I started, and I can't believe I actually did this, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Okay, people? Yeah. I did it. I don't know if I'm saying these right, but clindamycin is like an antibacterial cleaner for your face. Antibacterial whatever. And then um, azelaic acid is also really good for like texture and stuff. So I'm hoping this helps with this situation right here. Also, I'm going strong with another zip patch. You know, you know how I be. So wish me luck. Thank you Curology for sponsoring this video today. Just kidding. But today's video is gonna be like a day in a life of a mom, kind of. I really wanna show you guys my toy rotation. And that's like, I really wanted to do like a toy rotation, what's like a Montessori playroom type thing. And I wanted to do like a sit down, but um, I don't think I have time to do that today. So we're just gonna kinda do like an informal video. <laughs> Are you done now? Yeah. Am I the only one that like lost hair right here from postpartum? Like not just, not just here, but like in your eyebrows? Is that a thing? some lint in my eye. First, let's organize what's going on here. So basically what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to go through all the toys and I'm gonna keep the ones that I feel like Scotty's still really into and then I'm gonna get rid of the toys that I feel like he's either done playing with them or he's wasn't into them at all. rotation we always usually do like some action figures or some cars I'll usually go there we always have some books and I'll rotate those out tonight but they're in the boys room when Cal's sleeping so we always have books we always have puzzles and we always have some sort of like Legos usually to be honest and then we've got some tools we I try to do some music instruments so I got those from Goodwill recently so I still need to take the sticker off but I got those from Goodwill and they're super cheap. I think it was like a dollar for all these. 
And then we got some pegs for Christmas. So those go in there. And then we usually have a baby toy out for Scott or Cal. So whenever Cal's up here, he can crawl over here and get whatever toy he has for him. So I usually do one box for him and the rest are for Scotty because I mean, Cal can be distracted with a Ziploc bag, let's be honest. I got all those wicker baskets from like Goodwill and stuff like that. Okay, I think it's cute that they don't match. They're super cheap. I really like this one. So if I can find more like sturdy ones like this, I will, because this one's definitely the best one we have. These are the two bins that we keep all the extra toys in. Um, we'll just, we just put them in the office closet. Honestly, it's not ideal. Like I wish I had five or six bins at least, and then I would just like take out that bin, throw all those toys in, and then, and then I would take everything out on the shelf and put it in that bin. This house is like lacking on storage, and so we just don't have the room for that, which is fine. Um, so maybe in like our future house that I can do that system, but this works for now. It's not like a big deal. Okay. Let's be real here real quick. This is what my kitchen looks like. Yay. So a toy rotation is just simply having a set amount of toys out for your child on display to play with. And then you rotate them with toys that you have put away in storage or in the garage or whatever so that they're new when you bring them out. Even if your child has played with them before, they still feel the excitement and stuff because they haven't seen them in a while and then they're more likely to have independent play and play with that toy for longer, which is the goal is to have them play by themselves for a while. Try to have like eight to 10 activities up there. So whether that's like you have all the bins full and then you have like a big kitchen or like a little mini trampoline in the playroom or whatever it is, shoot around eight to 10 activities so then they don't get overwhelmed with all their options. There are some staples that I always keep in the toy rotation and that's puzzles. Um, I do like stacking activities, you know, like with pegs or cups or whatever. Um, I always have books. I just recently added some musical instruments in his toy rotation, which has been really fun for him. There's like a maraca, a tambourine. Um, I found an, a, a child's accordion at Goodwill, which, which was like the coolest find ever. So it actually works. I don't know how an accordion, work, accordion works, but it has like a little air vent thing. So I don't know how this works, but you know, if you know how to play the, if you know how to play the accordion, come to my house and play it. And then I found this really cool, um, it plays like records. It's like a Fisher Price record player. Are you guys ready for the coolest toy that you've ever seen? It's a freaking record player. It's so cute. And I got it for $3. Yeah, $3. Couldn't believe it. And it had all the records in it. They're just like fit right there. I'll put play one real quick. And then you pull this little thing up like an actual record. Can you even? The front is a song, front is a song, and then the back is also a song. I benefit from this also, not just Scotty, because when he gets to play independently, I get to do stuff and I get to be productive, which I love. How often you switch them out depends on you and your child. Usually around a week, like a week is when I usually change them. Um, but if I feel like he's actually not, like haven't played with them at all, then I'll just go in and change it. It doesn't matter if it's been a day or two. <laughs> I'm gonna whip out a definition here so I don't screw this up, but it says a Montessori style playroom is a simple clean space with a limited number of carefully selected age appropriate to toys designed to help the child develop skills such as their fine and gross motor skills. It is a place that promotes engagement rather than just providing entertainment. Key thing there is engagement rather than entertainment. So he, I do like to put up like action figures and cars because that also is like, I feel like promoting his creativity because he gets to, you know, play with it and make a story or whatever. But then I also have stuff like, you know, stacking cups. Disclaimer, I do not follow Montessori 100%. I do like, I would say the lazy mom's edition of Montessori Playroom. I just try to have a clean space and then I try to give them selected toys so it's not like overwhelming. But because there's only a, you know, a select amount of toys, once he makes a mess and goes in there like a tornado, like most kids and toddlers do, it's not overwhelming at the end of the day when I have to clean it up. I gotta clean the kitchen. It's so bad. If you like this video, please comment below and tell me if you liked it. Tell me if you're gonna do your own toy rotation and how it goes. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.